In the last few years, I found myself traveling to South Florida more and more. There's the mild winter climate, the annual seafood festival in Everglade City, the beautiful beaches, the people, the food, the culture. But it was sports fishing that initially attracted me to the area, particularly the Everglades. Another one. Oh! Oh my God. Look at this freaking fish. It wasn't long before I realized that the Everglades was the epicenter of a huge problem from coast to coast. It's covered in this flocculent glop that looks like guacamole and smells like crap. It's been butchered, it's been drained, it's been diked in, it's been polluted. When you go back into the late 40s and we started uh, to draw lines and the lines were drawn Inside the levees were to be preserved. But when that happened, half the Everglades was drained. That is vital. This, if this is the beginning of the end. If this goes forward, kiss, kiss the Keys goodbye, kiss Florida Bay goodbye. Kiss South Florida goodbye. Kiss South Florida goodbye.